Hello and welcome to Ganesh's new channel. So today we are going to discuss how we can solve proof that type of questions with considering LHS and RHS in the form of gradients. Okay. Now you can see that you are given with a function in the form of r raised to power n. Now let me tell you what's the form of r here. So r is nothing but the radius of sphere. In three dimension, you know that in two dimension, equation of a circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square. Why it is so? Because center is at origin. Similarly, if you are taking sphere, that means three dimension. So x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square will be the equation of sphere. So this is the equation. So take LHS. Your r, what is r here? You can see that this will be your square root. And square root means raised to power 1 by 2. Correct. And because it has already the power is 1, sorry, n. So n, it will become n by 2. Right? So this is your part. Now you know that gradient is partial differentiation with respect to x in r direction, partial differentiation with respect to y in j, and z in k. This is your gradient and this is your function. Right? Now, differentiate with respect to x, y, and z simultaneously. What you will get? You can see here, x square plus y square plus z square is to power n by 2. You can take power as coefficient, subtract 1 from the power, so n by 2 minus 1, and because your function already has got variable, so differentiate it as well. So it will be 2x if you are doing with respect to x, 2y if you will do with respect to y, and 2z if you will do with respect to z. Correct? So 2 will be considered 2. So it would be nx x square plus y square plus z square. Now listen. You can see that this is this is nothing but r. Right? If you see, this is your r raised to power n. Correct? What is it? This is your r raised to power n. So if you separate x square plus y square plus z square raised to power n by 2 and x square plus y square plus z square raised to power minus 1 and minus 1 will come into will come in denominator correct so what is it this is your r raised to power n by 2 this is your r raised to power n correct this bit and you can see here this is your r square. Base same power minus. So x n r is to power n minus 2. Correct? So I am writing it down. With respect to x it will be n x r is to power n minus 2. Similarly with respect to y it will be n y r is to power n minus 2. And with respect to z n z r is to power n minus 2. Correct? This is only if i is not there. i, j, k are still there. We have only solved this bit. Correct? Now, take something common. n, r raised to power n by 2 is common. So, x, i, y, j, z, k is left. And what is it? According to question, this is nothing but r. And this is your RHS. I hope you understand. So whenever you are given with R, simplify with using this formula. Once you will get this, then you can apply gradient or divergence or curl, whatever is given to you according to question. And you can solve it further. Okay. I hope you understand this video. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Until my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.